Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So most global equity markets are still just trying to grind that little bit higher following a, a potential Greek deal uh, on the cards yesterday. Uh, more news out later on in the session about potential interest rate hikes in the US, one in September and one in December from one of the Fed members uh, came out. Obviously he's not the only one that makes a decision but that caused some big moves in the US dollar uh, but also kind of uh, restricted the US there even pushing up too much higher. US Nasdaq hit an all-time high last night as well uh, but it's mainly the European Borises and Asian Borises that have continued to do very well with the Japan 225 actually hitting 18 year highs overnight uh, and also most Chinese stock markets also recovering quite strongly later on in the session. So we're trading above potential uh, resistance slash support at 11, not 112 with 18, 2084 being the um, longer term potential resistance level to be aware of, but certainly 11 spot 12, 18, 112 seems to be an, an important level in the short term. For as long as it stays above there, we, we should be okay. So moving on to the UK 100, uh, I got a couple of good sessions there. Um, we are actually already kind of getting a kind of a doji formation uh, beginning to materialize. Uh, we are unable to stay above that 21 period SMA. We got pushed down last night when we tried to break through it, and it's happened again uh, this morning. On the intraday charts, it's mainly kind of consolidating around here, to be fair. That seems to be like a, a short-term spike this morning. On, on the intraday charts, it's been quite flat, a, a very quick spike, and then straight, straight back down again. So we'll see that continues on throughout the session, but uh, the 21 period SMA looks to be um, relatively significant. And then we also, the tip of this candle over here that we had on the 11th, could be acting as short-term potential resistance at 68.68. Moving on to Japan 225, you'll be able to see that uh, we did just slightly tick above uh, that potential resistance at 28.68, and that did hit fresh 18-year highs, as we discussed before. Uh, and with the moves that we've seen in dollar yen, with the US dollar really gaining a lot of strength after the Fed member, I can't remember exactly which one it was, but uh, came out with um, his thought process behind the next interest rate hikes. Uh, that caused dollar yen to, to, to really get some momentum. It went all the way up to 124 and change. Uh, it's, not, it's not managed to break through there as of yet, but again, that 21 period SMA looks to be significant in the short term. So then moving on to West Texas crude, uh, even with the US dollar gaining strength, actually kind of surprising to see this candle tick up right here. But I think it's worth putting a resistance level along the tips of these candles. You probably take this one right here to be completely fair. Uh, but that's at 61.84. Um, we have been kind of stuck in this range for a little while now. Um, well, since the start of May, really. Uh, and you would take that 61.84 as potential resistance with 56, $57 being the potential support. And that was tips of these candles right here. This is daily intervals, incidentally, and you can see each time it's kind of tried to break through there. We've had these little kind of hammer style formations, but um, we are kind of flattening out as, as we get closer to 61.84. So gold's not been having a great time in the last couple of sessions, obviously with uh, interest rates still firmly on the agenda. One rate of height this year was kind of already kind of priced in, but. Uh, two, I think it's a little bit more aggressive considering Yelm was kind of saying that the trajectory of future rate hikes uh, it would be much slower than expected to so have another Fed member saying oh well no I we expect one maybe in February uh, in September sorry 50-50 chance in September and again in December that caught a lot of traders off guard and that's uh, what was pushing gold down below 1186 with 1137 still being a longer term potential support you could be looking at the tip of this candle maybe around about 1163 as the next uh, as the next level uh, and for as long as we're below 1186 um, people will be having a, a slightly kind of negative outlook on gold but um, we do have US GDP today uh, which will be another big uh, keenly watched macro data event that comes in way better than expected that was add extra fuel to the fire that we might actually even get to rate hikes in the US. It probably is not going to happen incidentally because we've been talking about this for such a long period of time but um, it's just a fear of fact that it might happen. Um, that puts a lot of traders on edge. So moving on to your dollar, I had a bad day yesterday following the break of the trend line. Uh, discussion now moving beyond uh, the Greek deal and the fact that the Eurozone is just in a complete mess right now. 
uh, over and above Germany, most other countries are, are kind of struggling right now. So uh, obviously the dollar strength helps a lot as well. We've had a little bit of a rebound this morning, um, maybe trading between the moving averages again as ever. Uh, one spot 11 is still the um, next major level of support, but we're 100 points away from there right now. Uh, and we're miles away from any potential uh, resistance. So uh, it probably feels that you might flip flop around here a little bit, but that one spot 11 will be the level where people will decide which direction they want dollar yet, euro dollar to go next. So finishing up with GBP USD, we had a retracement back down to 157.43. Decent bounce this morning, actually, first thing. Um, so as you can see there, we failed to break 159. We had a retracement, it stopped pretty much on one spot 57.43 and it's pushed right back up again just now at, towards the top end of this range on the day charts it actually is spiking a little bit higher this morning i'm already at the top end of that range just now and it's not like there's any uk based data first thing this morning we do have some german data at 9 a.m we've got the um, business survey ifo business expectations uh, we do have a, uh, a webinar tonight i believe or um if we do have a session you'll support and the live trader events but Tonight's uh, GDP uh, figure will be uh, very important for, for a number of traders, so do make sure you set your alarms on there, make sure you don't miss it. Uh, I need to make sure I select the right one as well, uh, and you can get all the details from there. Once you set your reoccurring alert, like so, you won't have to uh, be warned of it manually yourself, it will just automatically come back through. Um, if we fast forward on to Thursday, you can see we've got German consumer confidence uh, and uh, employment data from the US, it's going to be another big one. Uh, and also I should point out, if we go back to today, sorry, uh, that we do have um, crude oil inventories due at 3.30 UK time, and that's going to be very interesting if you're trading West Texas crude. So as ever, keep your eye on the chart forum, make insights part of your going forward, and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.